I'm Doug Doyle with the art of the story. Acclaimed filmmaker Sam Pollard recently came out with the documentary The League, a unique deep dive into Negro Leagues baseball. And he also has a new documentary about jazz that's wowing audiences at film festivals. Max Roach, the drum also waltzes. We, we premiered at South by Southwest in February. It's been playing every place. It's been playing in over in Europe. It's going to play in New. It's played in Northampton where Max taught. It's going to be in New Haven soon. It's really and it's a it's another labor of love for me, Doug. It's a film I worked on for many many years, and with my co-director Ben Shapiro, we were able to finally get it finished. And it has great people in it. You know, Randy Weston, Jimmy Heath, Tootie Heath. Uh, Sonny Rollins, you know, Dee Dee Bridgewater. It was a real, you know, I'm a huge jazz fan. So Max was somebody I spent a lot of time with from like 1987 to 1994. So I really got to know him. Pollard made sure music was a big part of the league as well. He and his producers came across some rarely heard songs like this one about legendary pitcher Satchel Paige. Oh, Satchel, oh, Satchel Paige. Nobody dared to bother about his age Cause he was the best pitcher That the good Lord ever made You know, we were doing some searching on the internet And uh, I put in Satchel Page songs And that one came up <laughs> Had you ever heard it before? I had never heard it before Negro Leagues Baseball was so popular that black churches would move their service time up an hour so fans could go to the game. If you know anything about the black church, you'll mess with service time. Let's start off with why the league is so important to you. Well, you know, for me, Doug, I grew up in the 60s uh, and uh, I lived in a household where my dad was a huge St. Louis Cardinals fan and uh so I loved baseball, and then I knew a little bit about the Negro Leagues back then when I was 15, 16, and I knew about specifically Satchel Paige and Josh Gibson, two of the most phenomenal players to come out of the Negro Leagues. So when I had this opportunity because of a young man named Byron Motley, whose dad, Bob Motley, had been a Negro League umpire in the 40s and 50s, this was something I really just wanted to jump into and get involved with. You can hear much more from filmmaker Sam Pollard, who was a guest on my podcast, Sports Jam, by going to wbgo.org slash sports jam. Or you can hear all the episodes by going to wbgo.org slash studios. I'm Doug Doyle, WBGO News.